Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. We finished up all the uh, quests and notorious mark hunts. So we're ready to move on with plot. Well, I guess it's kind of a lie. I haven't done all the notorious mark, all the notorious marks. But there's one actually that is down this path, I think. And, uh, there was an S-ranked one I just couldn't do. I'm 10 levels under leveled and it was, I didn't, it didn't I was getting my ass kicked. It, it wasn't gonna work out, I don't think. <laughs> so that's fine, we'll just, we'll level up some and go back to it later on. Ah, Lord Rossfield. I'm afraid I cannot stay to talk. I must leave to collect the reports of our spies in the field. Now that you wear the phoenix down, our brothers and sisters will no doubt reveal themselves to you too. Farewell, my lord. And may the firebird's flame burn ever in your heart. The free cities under siege? Who'd have thought it? Master Cyril, luckily. And thank goodness he told us before we set out. There are horrible beasts down that way. Ashen terrors who'll kill you as soon as look at you. Would that I had the strength to kill them first. Have I been down in here? I think I have. Uh, yeah, that's where uh, the guy who wants to kill me was at last I saw him. So, uh, you know what? Maybe it's smart we don't go back there. <laughs> Getting close. Ugh! <laughs> 
Torgo, he really do be spinning like Sonic the Hedgehog sometimes. Three men are still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. cities of Canberra. Southeastern storm. From humble beginnings to the handful of villages joined to form a staunch alliance that now controls much of the realm's mercantile trade. Sounds like thunder. You're late. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. I were even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Hey. Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> so these Akashic are being controlled. Uh, that's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? <sighs> Dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the Horde arrived. 
Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. against those things. an accessory on, which is kind of good right now. Just lost this thing.
Get out of here. Any more of them? Still another one? What the fuck? My turn!
thing just out of nowhere. Oh, fuck. still be survivors in sight. Yeah, of course, I uh, told him right in front of the gate. You've caused quite the commotion, but then I would expect no less from you, Muthos. We're doing this now? You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. He's Leviathan, right? He's the water. You are Akon. your family's crypt. And now you're here, with an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure, 
They are divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am the lady of House Harbor. And you will yield! Or not. As long as you don't hold back. Forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Perhaps this will kindle your flame? What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. Watch closely, Nuthos.
Why do I keep doing that sometimes? What's wrong with me? I'm horrible at dodging that. I didn't, oh my god, I accidentally fucking did that. I did not mean to fucking use that at all. I just somehow accidentally used it.
I guess my grip on the remote was a little too hard. Fuck. I slayed him. That's not the end of him. He's strong. My leash. Is that really the end of him? I'm kind of disappointed if that's if that's all from him. You're all right. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. I did. He did kind of seem like a cool character to me. What's wrong? I kind of wish Nothing. there was more from him, but maybe there is. No. It's really not going to be a water dominant in this game. <laughs> I know it's probably annoying how often I bring it up, but. Leaving so soon, Mythos? It's just kind of crazy to me that all the other elements have a. It's the king. A dominant, but not water. Indeed. You may kneel before Barnabas Tharn, Warden of Ash and King of Walu. Get back. Did my lord commander yet i see why my master covets you so the power within you mythos the potential stop calling me mythos but mythos is everything the cornerstone of all creation the lord's vessel your purpose Purpose to surrender my mind and body to that thing. No, Your Majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people, and nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer, one that must be excised. As we 
Joshua! Will you be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly's filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we were up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? Your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> it is no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some girl you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You look mad or something? I... wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake, my boy. Oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world would save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who taught me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, a lot of them, along with the Galleon. With the king on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't sail without him. Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. As long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> we must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Well, of course I do. My dad has seen this coming a league off. 
If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Give me quests. Just for me not to be able to do them right now. Right. Gav said that Otto might know something. and just get rid of these yellow dots basically wow. what you got for me new Sharon go on then that's useful okay give it to me you're rubbing me blind you know I could just craft a better sword with uh Fuck me. Blackthorn. I could just... I could just uh, create a new, better sword with, with him. But it's good to have this stuff, because you could be able to make better stuff out of these swords and, the, and accessories later on. I mean, I got plenty of guilt about this, this sort of stuff. It'd better all be here, yeah. Honestly, maybe I should just go ahead and buy these elixirs and it truly might be better just to uh, have all slots filled with healing items. Rubbing me blind, you know. go around and do quests. So I'd like to be able to sort these, but I guess I can't. Still alive, are ya? If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. Finished, are ya? 
Welcome back, Sid. Don't be a stranger, Sid. So Those imps are going to break that All thing. of them. You just watch. You don't know what you're talking about. The odor is what gives chances to its uh, death. And that's what makes it superior to any old lizard livers. Oh, please. Have you even tried the fried mortress? Taste, smell, texture. It beats your beloved stew hands down on every count. Now that's a masterpiece. to the mast and bellowed all ahead. If it's knowledge you seek, we've tomes aplenty to guide you in your search. Those tomes wouldn't happen to have letters in them, would they? my letters. Uh, most of them, anyway. Very well. The more eyes we have poring over these tomes, the sooner we'll find answers about these skies. We all know that bearers have a resilience to the ill effects of ether. But don't you find it strange that there are those who, despite being free of magic's burden, can seemingly pass through a flood without consequence? I asked our Lorsman how this could be, and he suggested that it might have something to do with bloodlines. Many of the realm's dominants are born to specific families, you see. The Rasfields, the Lesages. So, there must be something in those families' blood that provides them with the potential to become vessels for icons. But what about the ones who don't awaken? Could it be that this same potential provides them with something of the same immunity? Your uncle's recent travels with you across the ether-ravaged countryside would certainly suggest so. And yet, what about Gav? Well, in smaller, more isolated populations, bloodlines are less diluted. Hence, Shiva's dominant sometimes awakening in the child of a common northerner. And our scouts not having turned a hundred times over. Gav is the war dominant. Sid, did you know that chocobos are far more resilient to the effects of Ethan than most other beasts? Some say that's one of the reasons they were tamed for use as mounts and sumters. So that an ether flood wouldn't mean instant death for their riders or drivers. Me, I reckon they built it up over generations. Too many yeah, heard. traders driving their birds into Heard him say this before. Only the toughest. So but yeah. <clears throat> before I talk to Tomes here, I'm gonna end this episode. Until next time.